Dr. Ashton here with the uh, the answers to some flamboyant questions we will try. right now. Nah. Uh, let's go with the first one here from our viewers. What should I do if I receive both a negative and positive result? This is a very complicated question, and short answer is it depends. It depends if the person's symptomatic or asymptomatic. It depends what kind of test was done. Is it the gold standard PCR? Is it a saliva, rapid antigen, home test? Because now we're seeing a lot of different types of tests being done. And we have to remember that there are false positives and false negatives in general right now in the setting of such high rates and in the world of medicine and infectious disease we tend to believe the positives and err on the side of believing mm. that result because mm. your health and the health of those around you can be at stake does the order matter which one you got first no not really because again these tests are not 100 percent right. accurate so it depends on the situation and all those other factors very complicated question all right next question are the number of deaths today from people testing recently or people who have been hospitalized for months. So we don't have a precise breakdown, you know, literally week by week on these deaths on that level of information. But in general, we always know that there will be a lag time from new cases to hospitalizations occurring, you know, anywhere from one to two weeks later, then to deaths occurring about two weeks after that. A lot of patients, unfortunately, who succumb to COVID-19 are those who have been in the hospital, in the ICU, on a ventilator, for a while so again this is this is generally not a quick process there is a lag time uh, another here after having covid when can i expect to have a negative test result oh you guys this is so important no one who has covid should be retested with the purposes of saying you're good okay, now, yeah. you're recovered, you can go back to work or you can be with others. We know that from early data published out of South Korea that people who are positive for COVID-19 and then retested even up to three months later, you can detect a viral debris in their nose by PCR that does not grow out in the lab. So it's not viable, it's not alive, it's just fragments. So tests should not be used to say, you're recovered. We go by clinical symptomatology and just time. All right, Dr. Jen, thank you very yep. much. You can submit your questions to Dr. Jen on our Instagram at Dr. J Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.